it's it, it's it, it's it. Shoot it with uh, slingshot. Oh no. Oh. Wait, I have, I have a one though. I mean, you can't place, place that, can you? Nope. Yeah. Can't place it. No. Nope. Sling. Can't place you can't slingshot. Nope. Maybe you can place something in Spanish, man. Uh, no, you can't. Only Fit could do that because he's janitor. Ooh, never mind. Yeah, this is kind of orcs. Oh, I can't get back. I don't have any XP. Oh, wait, I have some. Oh, I cannot give you because I can't put my bag. Oh. oh, you're stuck. Well, I guess I'm stuck here. Yeah. I guess I'll just start a podcast, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Well. Let's just start a podcast. What's up, everybody? Welcome back epi to episode one of my Kukarucho Stuck in His Office podcast. This is the first official episode, and we'll make as many of these until we get back. So, what's new on the island? Um, black concrete has started appearing around the island, and there is, uh, we know nothing about it. And maybe it's a rift in space-time. Crazy, eh? Also, like, the eggs, they're sending messages through the black concrete, eh? Hey, rip in space-time. Pretty fancy. This has been such a great installment of the Cucurucho Office Saga. Catch us next week with episode two. Oh, wouldn't you look at that? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to episode two of the Cucurucho Office podcast. The fit... Sorry for that interruption. Foolish appears to be snitching somewhere in the world. So, today we're going to be talking about how they got water inside of the office building. Um, yeah, and that's crazy. So, I guess I've, act this I've actually just got a prison of my own that I have no way of getting at W Podcast. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. So, what is with this federation, eh? Let's talk about topical, topical podcast things. Like, at the end of the day, I'm not sure that the federation is good. Boom. That, that was a spoiler alert. They're actually incredibly bad. But that's going to be about it for episode one. Episode two of the Kukurucho Office podcast. Welcome back, everyone. Oh, my gosh. Long time no see. We're now on episode three of the Kukurucho Office podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about the eggs. Where did they go? Will we ever find them? So, I've got a feeling that they're dead. But that's a bit of a hot take. That's a bit of a hot take. And as... For those of you that don't me as one of the hosts of the podcast, is that... Um, for can you stop snitching while I'm telling my podcast? Um, so for those of you that don't realize, I am actually a godfather to two of the eggs. Not a real father. I don't actually, I have no responsibility, but I just babysit and shit. And I'm hoping that they're not, that they're not dead. But, you know, you never know these days. Crazy days. So, yeah, I've got a feeling the eggs disappearance. They were all, so they ran away. There's a story about some eggs dying in a maze. But I don't think they were out. Which means that somewhere on the island is that, that is that there's two undiscovered eggs. Which is kind of crazy. You never know. Maybe I'll get an egg of my own. Probably not. Not responsible enough to be an egg owner, but we never know. Might happen. But that's going to be about it for episode three of the podcast. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode four of the podcast. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about out of space and how I want to be in any space but this space. Can Foolish stop taking photos for like three seconds? Foolish! Oh my gosh. So episode four is coming out strong. Episode four already? Yeah, I keep you boys fucking fed. What do we want to talk about in episode four? Well, have I got news for you? I swear to God, if Kukarucho's taking photos of me, I'm gonna lose it. Maybe this is just my unique punishment that the Fed has made for me. Maybe I'm just destined to sit on this fucking bench forever. That's all right. You know what? Fuck it. Good enough for me. I deserved it. I had this shit coming. So welcome back, everyone, to episode five of the podcast. Today, we're gonna be talking about the consequences of our own actions. So, for those of you that know me, I've been playing a little bit of fuck around and find out for the last few days, actually. And... Motherfucker, dude. Well, at least they're enjoying the podcast. So for those of you that don't know, I've been playing a little episode of Fuck Around and Find Out these last few days. And today I thought we'd take a little bit of time to talk about the consequences of my own actions. So it turns out, if you break enough rules, um, that actually you do get in trouble. That is true. And I have been getting mightily, mightily in trouble. And now, I guess for the next 96 hours, we're just going to be doing... 96 hour Kukarucho office tour. Kukarucho, if you're out there, why don't you come join me as a featured guest on the podcast? You know, just out of law, you know, just take a seat. No law here, you know, Kukarucho. Just take a seat next to me and we can just do a little collab episode podcast while we're both trapped here. I know how much you love being a news anchor. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, Kukarucho. Awesome. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode six of the podcast featuring Kukarucho in the form of fireworks. So, Kukarucho, the people have a burning questions. They want to know, how do you get your skin that ghost-like? Can I get a, a yes or no? Do you use fake tan? Two for yes, one for no. 
He uses fake tan, everybody! And that's how Cucurucho keeps his skin so ghost-like. Now, another question from the audience, Cucurucho. Are you affiliated with Casper the Friendly Ghost? All right, he did not like that one. Let me tell you that much, folks. He was not a fan of Casper's early work. Either that or he just doesn't know who Casper or the friendly ghost is. That's okay. Is Phil coming to fucking save my ass? He says, we are coming, Toby. I'm like, all right. But there, that's about all the time we have for this episode, episode six of the podcast featuring Cucurucho. Join us next week. Yeah, oh, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Join us next week where we're going to be diving in to the heat depth of the universe. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode seven of the Cucurucho Office podcast. It is a pleasure to have you here. Today, we're going to change things up a bit. We're going to sit on a different bench. Wouldn't you look at that? Ain't say I never did anything for you loyal viewers. Boom, wouldn't you look at that? We have changed the script. So this episode of the podcast, we have a bit of a featured guest. We have a bit of a featured guest. His name is, he's a little bit shy. He doesn't say very many words, but his name is Kometo. Oh, Kometo. So Kometo, it's a pleasure to have you here with us on the podcast what do you do mm-hmm right yeah yeah well you know kometo ketamine's not for everyone but if you recommend it maybe i'll have to give it a go so i haven't seen you on the server much recently do you care to give any insight to the cucurucho office podcast about whereabouts you've been Oh, you've been at Revenge, have you? Oh, yes. Oh, you're a big fan of Revenge. Mmm, yes. Uh, I too love that they sell hot dogs on the roof. Yeah, me and Tom Simons watched people do poppers off of the balcony railing. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh, you're familiar with them too? Oh, good. You've got such a diverse, you know, knowledge of the drug industry. And I just love that about you. Well, that's going to be about time for episode seven of the podcast. Let's go back to our original casting seat. All right. I hope you guys have enjoyed episode seven of the Cucurucho Office podcast. Join us next week for episode eight. We're, we're actually going on a one week break of the podcast. So just give me like two seconds. <sighs> <sighs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode eight of the Cucurucho Office podcast. Oh, and I'm joined today by a special guest. It's Cucurucho himself in the form of fireworks that don't explode. Heaven forbid he ever finds fireworks that do explode. We will be in deep shit then. How are you doing on this fine day, Cucurucho? Can I get one for good, two for bad? He's doing some other third thing. He's doing mid. That just means he's doing mid. I'm I'm the great firework interpreter. I studied it at Yale and Harvard and Florida. I can't remember. Yeah, that means that he's 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 running with excitement. Yeah, that's what that meant. Our guest is sure running with excitement. So I'm so pleased to have you guys back for episode eight of the podcast. Today, not only are we joined by the beloved QSMP admins, we're also joined by an eight pack, maybe even a nine pack. I count nine abs there. I'm dyslexic. That doesn't actually affect maths, but today we're joined by none other than the magical admins of the QSMP Hello. and the nine pack. Wait, I hear him. Where is he? We are here, Tebo. Where? Where? On top of you. Okay. Well, but, enjoy the po- uh, This episode of the podcast is brought to you by a live studio audience. Pierre, how are you doing? It's wonderful for you to feature on episode eight of the podcast. Pleasure to have you. So I heard you're a bit of a French diva. What? <laughs> and just like that, that's how he gets them all. He flirts his way to the top, baby. Well, thank you, Pierre. We're just about out of time for episode eight of the podcast. Uh, join us next week for episode nine. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode nine of the podcast. It is a pleasure to have you. It is a wonderful, wonderful day. Episode nine. Let me tell you, we got a doozy one for today. Today, we're going to be talking about how fragile and delicate life is. When I wake up every day, I think to myself, man, how can I best spend my life, you know? And I wake up and I'm like, wow, the Cucurucho office, just the white walls give me life, you know? It gives me life. 
And you see, and the firework mascot of the podcast that is featuring every episode agrees. So the Kukurucho office, it's a really magical place. Like, they've never tortured children in here. And that is just a legal disclaimer, because obviously they have. tra la la So, episode 9 is a bit of a doozy one for you. So let's talk about how to get, how to live a fulfilling life. So you have to stop setting expectations for yourself, you know? The reason why you're feeling unfulfilled is because of these unrealistic expectations you set. It's about making making new disciplines, you know? It's about forming good, healthy habits. Oh, and that's about it for, uh, that's about it for episode, holy fucking shit, everyone and their mother and their distant cousins and their, and their sister twice removed is fucking teleporting to me right now. Got a whole rescue party, I'm important. Oh, thank you, Mr. Fireworks. Thank you. Welcome back to episode 10 of the podcast. Today is a very special day. Episode 10 is probably where my friends are going to rescue me, finally. 